Well, on behalf of our mother and the entire Scalia family, I want to thank you for your presence here, for your many words of consolation, and even more for the many prayers and masses you have offered at the death of our father, Antonin Scalia. In particular, I thank Cardinal Wuerl, first, for reaching out so quickly and so graciously to console our mother. It was a consolation to her and therefore to us as well. Thank you also for allowing us to have the fu this parish funeral mass here in this basilica dedicated to Our Lady. What a great privilege and consolation that we were able to bring our Father through the holy doors and for him gain the indulgence promised to those who enter in faith. I thank Bishop Laverty, the Bishop of our Diocese of Arlington, a shepherd our Father liked and respected a great deal. Thank you, Bishop Laverty, for your prompt visit to our mother, for your words of consolation, for your prayers. The family will depart for the private burial immediately after Mass and will not have time to visit, so I want to express our thanks at this time so that you all know our profound appreciation and thanks. You'll notice in the program mention of a memorial that will be held on March 1st. We hope to see many of you there. We pray that the Lord will reward your great goodness to us. We are gathered here because of one man, a man known personally to many of us, known only by reputation to even more, a man loved by many, scorned by others, a man known for great controversy and for great compassion. That man, of course, is Jesus of Nazareth. It is he whom we proclaim. Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, born of the Virgin Mary, crucified, buried, risen, seated at the right hand of the Father,